All right, we got a tough Middle Tennessee State team. They are Conference USA, 88 overall to R91, so this should be a high scoring affair. I have a feeling they are six and three on the year. We are 10 and 0. If we win this game, we go to 11 and 0 and bring ourselves closer and closer to a national championship. We are currently number three in the nation. We are undefeated. We are one of the few teams that is undefeated. Can we? keep this up. All right, guys. So, Middle Tennessee State, Coastal Carolina, coming at you. Make sure to like and subscribe, guys. It really helps me out. All right, here we go. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He just drills this one, and it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Going deep, lays it out there. Morris has got to forget about all the distractions, and that includes talking about winning awards. And in talking to him, he seems like a pretty focused, driven guy, and I think he's all about team. From their own 25-yard line. It's second down. Going over the middle, intercepted. It's a fumble. Now the defense has it. The safety. And he's tackled at the 26-yard line. That's a pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. So the offense will come out in opponent's territory for their first drive of the game. They couldn't have asked for better field position than this. Throws it out and off. He's hit hard for a loss. That's a two-yard loss. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Second down at 12. Ball on the 28. the ball big opening touchdown blue raiders and he adds the extra point let's get an update now here's reese davis reese the huskies came into the game ranked fifth after that performance, they'll drop like a stone. And for Washington, today's loss eliminates them from bowl eligibility. He's to the 10. Oh, what a hit. The Blue Raiders are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. Complete. He's got room. And he is drilled at the 30-yard line. Denman's looking to have another big year, Kirk. And I mean a big year. Because if he keeps working in the weight room and keeps working out like he has been, this could be one of the big years of all time for him. Tackled after decent pickup. Brad, I can remember the year that this young man enjoyed last year. Has everybody buzzing about the kind of season he can have this year. Second and five. Ball on their own 36. Gets it out in a hurry. And he's got it! The 10. And a huge touchdown play. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he converts the extra point. A short three-play, 82-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. Oh, he got nailed on that one. That call didn't make any sense at all, and now they'll give up some huge field position. That is just ridiculous. I can't think of one reason as to why it would make sense to kick an onside here. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. 
He's at the 30, and it's the senior. And he's taken down at the 20-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20. The 10. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. They put everyone up on the line. Pass, touchdown! He splits the uprights with the extra point. Middle Tennessee State gets set to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 10. Across the 30. Across midfield. And he's brought down at the 38-yard line. Boy, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Strike to his receiver, no good. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From the 38-yard line, second down. Scrambling around. Rifles at right. And he's got the junior to the 10. Touchdown! Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. A quick two-play, 38-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. 14 apiece. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Just amazing, Herbie. We've seen four straight possessions now in which the offenses have scored. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. Gets to about the 27-yard line. That makes it second and eight. From their own 27-yard line. Second down. Three down, three down. Here we go. He scrambled. That's a great tackle at the 32. He scrambles and picks up five. Sweep left. Here he goes. He's knocked out of bounds at the 49-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 49. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. That brings up second and 13. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up third and six. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. Mark 55! Mark 55! I'm here all day. Ready! Let's it go. 
Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Excellent job by this young quarterback of making the defense pay for bringing both outside linebackers. That's composure right there. He won't get back to the line. I think sometimes offenses forget to even include corners as defenders and tackles because a lot of corners just want to be out there and playing against the pass. But this is a corner that they have got to be responsible and remember in the future that he's got to be involved in being able to come up with a blocking scheme. This time they just let him go. And he's athletic and strong enough to come up and make a play. That'll bring a third and one. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. Gets it. He's in space. Out of bounds. Right around the 26-yard line. Middle Tennessee State could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up, it's got the distance, and he splits the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense will come out again hoping to have similar results as their last drive. I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Tackle made right around midfield. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. They go with a run, and he's brought down in the backfield. From their own 49-yard line. Second down. Quick shot, the defender tips it away. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's taken down right around the 42-yard line. That was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Great stand by the defense, and they get it back for their offense. And the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play. Great job to pin him up and cause the turnover on downs. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Middle Tennessee State has a three-point lead. Up the middle for a nice game. That'll make it second and four. Hang on, everybody, because it looks like they came ready to play today. 17-14, Blue Raiders. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Goes a laser across the middle. Brought down around the 49-yard line. Makes the reception. That's good for a gain of one yard. That'll bring up third and four. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Fires it out. He 
He's at the 30. He gets hit out of bounds at the 27-yard line. Pitches it. He's tackled at about the 29 yard line. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run, but they need to be careful of the play action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 29 yard line. He can run. Tackle at the two-yard line. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. Touchdown, Blue Raiders. He makes the PAT. A quick update now. Here's Reese. In Conference USA, you had better be able to score. The Mountaineers have the edge, 14-7. Reese, we got a 10-point game, 24-14 here. Franken ready to kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Run up the middle. Morris picks up about four yards after keeping the ball on the option. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 29. Decides to slide. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. Now he's scrambling. Bumbo, loose ball. It's the running back who picks it up. And he's tackled at about the 45. And they will keep the drive alive by recovering their own fumble. From their own 45-yard line, it's second down. He's on the run. And it's intercepted. And who else? It's the senior... From their own 21-yard line. First down. And down he goes at the 19. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Throws it deep. Makes the grab and he's knocked out of bounds. Big play right there. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. He 
makes it to the 35-yard line. Game of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Bring him down at the 32-yard line. Gain of three on the play. Third down. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 26. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He's under some heat. And he's level at the 36-yard line. That is a loss of four yards. That'll make it fourth and ten. Kicks away, and it's good! They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 10. Tackle at the 21. Denman's performance for his team generally reflects how the team is going to play. And unfortunately for them right now, that's what they're seeing. Well, Brett, I just think they've gotten so accustomed to waiting to see how their star player plays that they've gotten used to just riding him all the way to the finish line. And here's a case where he's not necessarily playing his best game, and they're struggling. I think this is where you find out really what the team is made out of, because you need somebody else to step up and take some of the pressure off your star player. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He makes his way to about the 38. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Number six brings him down at the 43-yard line. That brings him second and five. We've got a second and five. Ball on their own 43. Fires out to his wideout. At the 30, to the 20. Dives! Touchdown! What a strike for the score. And he did a nice job of looking off his defenders. And he converts the extra point. So a four-play, 79-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Well, the points are coming like snow flurries in the winter. <laughs> and we still have time to go here in the first half. Who knows? Maybe we can get a couple more touchdowns out of this. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Middle Tennessee State up six. Pressured and brought down. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Guys, it's our time, guys. Our time. Let's get off the field. Let's get off the Set. field. Red 18. He's out to the 30. The senior makes the catch. And he's taken down around the 36-yard line. Him hard. That's the 44. Here's the true test of a quarterback at any level. Can they make a good throw under pressure when one or two or three guys are coming right at him? I think this young passer has proven that yes, he can. From the 44-yard line, first down. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete.
scrambling around. And they got him. Loss of one on the way. Texas third and 11. Thunder! Thunder! Tackle at about the 31. Middle Tennessee State with a six-point lead. He's scrambling. And they make the stop around the 30-yard line. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. The Blue Raiders, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. So they decide to bring the kicker out to try to get three points before the half ends. Get on the ball, here we go. He gets it up. I'm sure both defensive coordinators will be going back to the drawing board in the locker room at halftime. Middle Tennessee State leads 27-21. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA football. Man, All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? They bring him down for a sack on the play. Loss of eight yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. They go to the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. Call the loss of three yards on the play. That'll bring up third and long. Middle Tennessee State is up by six. Out of bounds at about the 23 yard line. Initially, it was called a catch, but now we're going to find out for sure if he at least had one foot in and possession of the ball before he went out of bounds. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. So after the review, the verdict is that it was no catch. They missed it on the field, but that was a bang-bang play. The important thing is they got the call right. Spencer is back deep to return the punt. Spencer takes it at the 47, and he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure, but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Tackle made around the 29-yard line. From the 29-yard line, it's first down. Nice run there. Right gains about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. Makes it out to about the 13. Gain of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. 
from the 13 yard line. First down. He's going to try and scramble. Runs with it, and he's got room. He's taken down at the three. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. And it pays off. Touchdown. The kicker on the field. He'll try to put his team up by a point. And he adds the extra point. A five-play, 43-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Has some daylight. The 50. Steps out of bounds at about the 21. and 10 following that big run. Pass is tipped away. Excellent pass defense. You've got to be able to make a lightning quick reaction to bat the ball away like he did right there. Third and five. Ball on the 16-yard line. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five-receiver look. Caught with room to work. He steps out around the 11-yard line. Wonderful play call to convert on third down. I'll tell you what, he really wanted that first down. Good determination again. the corner. Tackle that side after a nice pickup. That makes it second and six. From the six yard line. Second down. Touchdown Blue Raiders. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. Defense in their short yardage package. They don't get it. Great play by the defense. Well, that time they came with a blitz and the linebacker was able to get free and come away with a sack. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. Both teams have really answered the bell here in the third quarter, Chris. Well, exciting to see what these offenses have been able to do here. To be able to come out and score in your first drive tells you a lot about what they did during the half. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Tackled after a decent pickup. That brings him second and five. Second and five, ball on their own 30. Nice run, and he's brought down. Game seven on the play. First down. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Mike eight, Mike eight. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. And they tackle him at the 24-yard line. 
That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Let's see if they can build off that great run. the middle for a nice game. That's a game five on the That makes it seven and six. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. That makes it 32. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Down at the 13. That's a gain of four on the play. First down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Mike eight. Mike eight. And they'll score. So they'll go for two here and try to go up by a field goal. Defense stops the ground game. No two-point conversion there. Crenshaw has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defensive line. Nice run up the middle. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings up second and five. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. And he has it on the corner. He's got an opening. He's to the 40. Inside the 30. To the 20. To the 10. He scores. What a play. So the kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Now he's scrambling. And they won't get the two. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. Middle Tennessee State kicked this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 10. Tackle made at the 27-yard line. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. Gets out to around the 35. They'll bring him down at the 41-yard line. Well, the third quarter's in the books, and you have to wonder if either defense is going to make a stop in the fourth. The Blue Raiders lead his five. Welcome back to the action, fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. And he's 
level at the 36-yard line. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And down he goes at the 43. That makes it first and 10. He passes it. Caught sideline, and he stays in. First down. From the 17 yard line. First down. He's on the run. He's tackled around the six yard line. Thomas on the tackle at the six yard line. That makes it first and goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. At the eight yard line. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. They're at the eight. Second down. Carries the ball for a nice game. Game seven yards. That makes it third and goal. Tenth play of the drive. Touchdown, and now they're in front. You don't really gain anything by kicking the extra point here, so they'll go for two and try to go up by three. He's in for the conversion. Crenshaw ready to kick. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Well, you got to say one thing. These two offensive coordinators have got to be smiling because every time they have a play, it works. And we've got points on just about every drive. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He's scrambling. Excellent open field tackle. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. Third down. Man left, man left. He's tackled at the 35-yard line. From their own 35-yard line, it's first down. Caught open field. He's at midfield. Still on his feet. Inside the 30. And they make the stop at the 23-yard line. And he 
he's taken down around the 27-yard line. He wasn't decisive at all on that option, and once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. Second and 14. Ball on the 27-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. He keeps it. Three yards there on the quarterback keeper. There's the junior cornerback making a very solid stop. Anytime your corners can contribute like that against the run, it gives your defense another advantage. Just under three to go in regulation. Sends it out quick. Intercepted. Got some open field. Inside the 10, touchdown, big play. And he converts the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Let's get you up to date on what's happening in some games with major BCS implications. This game was tighter than spandex on a sumo wrestler. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. Boy, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Excellent job by the defense to bring him down inbounds. Keep that clock moving. Sacks. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Spencer fields it at the 46. He's pushed out of bounds around the 41-yard line. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Just under two to go in the game. Fires it out. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Two-yard loss. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 43-yard line. He's at the 30, he's at the 20. He's taken down around the 13-yard line. And he shows us why they're talking Heisman here. You're right, there really is only a handful of players out there that are worthy of the Heisman height, and this young man is one of them. Got his man, can't tack on any yardage. This is smart, efficient play calling. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's tackled right away. Thomas is a tackle. That's the one yard right now. That makes it first and goal. They come out in a goal line set. Tackle made at the two-yard line. He never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. It's second and goal. Two yards to the end zone. 
And they'll bring him down behind the line. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. They're crowding the line. And he's got the touchdown. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. it off and he got all of that one and it sails out of the end zone for a touchback what a game it's been for him running the ball Kirk. Why he has but let's also give some credit to the offensive line doing a tremendous job of pushing the defensive line back to give the running back some room to work with the coaches rave about this guy's athletic ability and his vision you can see the hole before it seems to even open and then he has the quickness to explode through I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. Broke away from one. Nice run there as they work the outside. The defense calls a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. Ball start, offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see Still movement on the down. other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. Mike 55, Mike 55. Eat, 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 eat. Reset, cut right. Let's go. Wide 80. Wide. Most 80. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receiver. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 27-yard line, third down. Handoff to the right. Brought down at the 35. This one's in the books, and our final score. Another win for us. We are 11-0. DeAndre Coleman, player of the game. Two receptions, 102 yards, two touchdowns. Anytime he caught it, he got a touchdown. What a great day for him. All right, so we are 11-0. 5739 number three Coastal Carolina destroys Middle Tennessee State. This was a high score and affair for both teams. No defense seemed to show up today, but 96 total points scored. What an insane game. All right, guys, that's it. Make sure to like and subscribe. What a great game. Keep it up.